Hello, my pretties. How are you guys? My pretties, I'm picking up a, a, a transference of power, okay? Or some sort of fall from grace or whatever the case is. Um, we could take this on a large scale or you could take this on a on a on a personal scale, right? Personally, okay? Both. Both of them um, is what I'm hearing. A Libra could be involved. A Scorpio could be involved. I'm hearing Virgo, okay? And I just heard Leo. But, um, okay, and Gemini and Virgo. I said Virgo already. So, Gemini. Um, the thing about this situation is that there is someone finding out something. Wow. I just heard that there's someone finding out that a person is a part of, um, a secret society that I will not name. Okay. Someone is finding out that this person has ties to, um, him downstairs. Um, they're also finding out. I just, okay. So they just said, they said that, oh God, they said that somebody's finding out that, a person close to you, this is going to be your op, okay? Somebody's finding out that this person has something that thinks for them, okay? Um, that they're not thinking for themselves. Now, see, when I dug into this energy a little bit to find out what was up, it's like this person is like being investigated. You see this energy at the bottom, fear, protection, and ghosts and reflection. Somebody is trying to... Um, this person is trying to stop something from backfiring, okay? This could be a matriarchal figure in your family, or this could be somebody that has some sort of hierarchy than you. Huh, what they got on me? Bodies in a couple years. I done done it all. Feel like shorty low. Left it to the bank, but shit is not a joke. Yeah, Cardi said, what they got on me? Put it on the floor, just like they career. What they got on me? Bodies in a couple years. <laughs> Somebody may have thought they was better than you. And you like, bitch, what you got on me? Bodies in a couple years. Period. Okay. But I'm um, sorry, I had to get the energy in my hands. But yeah. Cleanse. You could be, you could have uh cleansed yourself of this person or cleansed yourself of whatever whatever energy they was throwing at you. We have the magician in reverse, the tower in reverse, and the nine of cups in reverse. This person may have wanted you to live in some sort of delusion. They could have did some sort of crown chakra magic. This person could have tried to overpower you or whatever the case is. Now it, it feels like um, you know, they're they're being looked at. This person is being looked, they're being looked at like they got some sort of entity on them. Which they do, but they was trying to hide this. Let me tell you something uh, 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 of what I see and how um, Stephen and his people usually try to do stuff. Like you know that um, like this is a, a real uh, kindergarten ass way to do stuff. Like it's very old this tactic. It's like do something to somebody, be the devil in someone's life, and then uh, and then accuse them of being that to you. It's like I know you have what am I type of energy. It's very petty. You know what I mean? And, 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 and the thing about these situations is that time tells. Time all time always is the teller of truth in this situation. Like this person could have tried to have people looking at you like you were in delusion or that you were explosive and angry with the tower or that you were the magician. Whatever, whatever it is that they projected onto you, whatever storyline they try to have people think of you as, whatever it was, it is now they're being looked at, okay? Somebody is comparing the two of y'all saying, listen, there's another person on here that's pure and kindred spirit. There's a person who could have had a dream that told them the truth about this situation. And they wanted to look into that. With the justice and the seven of pentacles, this person could have wanted the police on your ass or this person could have wanted people to look at you in an unfair way. They could have wanted you to be investigated or wanted you to be overlooked. I mean, looked over with a fine tooth comb or some shit like that. Child, please. Tom always tells. This person could have, could have tried to pull the wool over your eyes. Yeah. Or, or, or other people's eyes to get them to trust them. But this is in reference to you. Something is backfiring. Show me matriarch and backfire. Backfire. This person is frustrated. This person is frustrated because you're happy. That came up in the last read. I just heard smile, bitch. Smile, bitch. Reflection. This is being mirrored back onto them. Look at this. Reflection and energy. 
So this person tried, this person really, I heard, I heard, they, I heard the cat is out the bag. But then before that, I heard they felt like they had this in the bag. Somebody's skirt, somebody under their skirt is showing. They slip is showing, okay? The true them is showing. The fact that they tried to lie on you and slander your name and do all that shit, it is, it is, it is doing backflips on their ass. You hear me? It's all coming back, all coming back to me now. <laughs> it was so long ago, but it's all coming back to me. That's why that nine of cups in reverse. Because it was like, I feel like this person was arrogant about it. Like, yeah, I had it in the bag. The high priestess in reverse. This is a person who 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 used whatever gifts or used spirituality um, by, for me to control. Let me tell you something. One of the reasons why Stephen and his people always get in trouble is because they always overdoing some shit. God is so forgiving. You could do a one, a little one. You could do a little two. You might could do a little three. But you wanna, but you wanna start doing things over and over again, and you wanna start feel like you're smarter than God, and 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 this is this is what happens. This is somebody who just throw energy back, forth, up, and, and do whatever they want to do, and now they being met with the same energy, and they're flabbergasted, and they don't like it. Like what? This is somebody who feel like they know a, a a lot of shit about magic, right? They feel like they know a lot. They feel like they know more than you, at least. But one of the things that they failed to realize was that you have to put out the energy that you don't mind coming back. Why are you, why are you mad? Why are you frustrated that this came back to you? Because let me tell you something. When you mess it with magic and you do what you, what you mean, you don't, you don't mind no shit coming back to you. If you, if, if you serious, about a person deserving something, let's just say it was negative, and you serious about a person deserving something, you don't give a fuck if it come back to you. Because you're able to handle that. Anything that you put out, you should be able to handle. And if you didn't feel like you was at fault, this shit wouldn't have bounced back off for you anyway to come right back to you. Because it's your energy and you deserve it. That's why it's coming back. Whether this is manipulation, lies, or witchcraft, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's going back to its rightful owner, okay? Because if this person was doing it justly, the justice wouldn't be in reverse over here. Or if they was doing it justly and they was justified in doing it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have bounced back like this. They wouldn't be frustrated. Think about it. When you when you when you justify in, in, in doing something to a person, you worrying about karma? Oh, okay. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Something that they something that they worked on. I'm hearing John Hancock. Something that they try to build. They confused about it now. I see somebody giving another person orders with how to deal with you or something like that. You could have tamed yourself in this situation, okay? You could have tamed yourself in a situation. Like, one of the things that I'm seeing is, like, this person could have did something to manipulate the wheel of fortune in your life to go backwards, okay? To, to run you over. And I'm seeing like you kept your composure. I'm really seeing you kept your composure. And you know what's crazy? It's like, you know, you could have wanted to put hands and feet on this person, but you didn't. I feel like this person uh, think that they, that they God, like they do. Gratitude. Be grateful for abundance. Live in appreciation for what you have and more good things will come. Sanctuary. Embrace the need for solitude. Your inner sanctuary calls you. Renew yourself and thrive. This is you. 
This is you being backed into a corner and feeling like, you know what? I'm going to sit right here in this corner because maybe I need to. Because if I come out this corner, I'm going to jail. You're going to jail. Or maybe this person took something from you and you like, oh, you know what? I, I'm going I'm to I'm a, I'm a trust in God and I'm going to let God handle this. And I'm going to be gracious for what it is that I do have. They, this is saying like, this is like God's favor. Like in you, you're, this is this could even be a spiritual spiritual court. It's like somebody's being looked at, and, and 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 you're being compared to them. Like, um, who's at fault here, or who's more valuable to the collective? Is what I'm feeling. I feel like your life could have even been in turmoil. Somebody could have been over smoking or not eating or overeating or something like that. This could have affected you in so many different ways. But I still see you. I, I still see you being gracious. And yet, if you see this energy of action and love and elegance, it's like, bitch, I took this on a chin when you was doing this. I took this on a chin. It's the way you handle this. That's that's making God feel like, yo, I hope you dance. I hope you dance. With the dance and healing, it's like you didn't let this fall. Come on now. Mercy and integrity. You did not let this person sway the way you felt about God. You did not let this person could be throwing energy to you, lying on you, stealing from you, whatever it is that they did because they tried their best and they did the most. And you still didn't budge. You maintained your purity. You maintained your love for your ancestors or your kindred spirits. The spirits that help you. You held on tight to your dreams. You did not sway or bend in your feelings towards God. Okay? You kept your balance. Look at this. You kept that centering. You kept your balance and your composure. Even if you did look back on it sometimes, you see this energy of this all, you could have wanted to curse them out or you could have cursed them out. You're like, girl, <sighs> all right, I'm about to chill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to chill before I do you something. Okay? You held your composure and you kept faith. Look at this with the energy of expression and, and this covering. Somebody, look, look, I'm seeing this give me Pisces energy. Somebody could have wanted to cuss a Pisces out. Or there's a Pisces who could have wanted to cuss somebody out. And it's like, I'm not even going to do you like that. There's something in particular you could have wanted to say. I'm hearing, like, I just heard you could have ended this person's career. I'm seeing a crystal ball. You could have had a dream and you know something about this person. But this is what I said to y'all before about people playing with God's children and, and, and us being so... Like we're highly intuitive. Whether you read cards or not, it's like you're highly intuitive. And it's like a lot of us have enemies that we can end their career with the truth. But we choose not to. We don't a wise man once said, Don't argue with fools because people from a distance don't know who was who. Okay. Show me friendship. Be with the ones who make you shine, who love you and really care. Keep those and let the others go. You just stop fucking with this person. Look at this energy of adversity, okay? See the gifts and challenge. One can be taught within the calm, but the greatest lessons are learned from the storms. This is what I said about being backed into a corner. You see how she's sitting here? This is what I said about being backed into a corner. This could be a fake friend that did this or a family member acting like a fake friend or whatever the case is. This could have been everybody turning on you. But this type of adversity energy was being sent at you. And you decided not to exert your energy into fighting with this person. And now they're going down. Somebody man could be married. Somebody, somebody decided to sit back and focus on their money or focus on their journey and focus on their growth. Somebody could have been praying for their enemies. God have mercy on their soul. Have mercy on me. Have, er, have mercy on my soul. Don't let my heart turn cold. Have mercy on many men. Many, 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 many men wish death upon me. For those of you that 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 that, that are going through uh, warfare, 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 you already know that many men wish death upon me. Blood in my eye, dog, and I can't see. I'm trying to be what I'm destined to be. And niggas trying to Take my life away. My back on the wall. Now you gonna see. Better watch how you talk when you talk about me. Somebody knew to let God handle this. 
somebody knew that, that you was playing you was playing chess and, and, and this person was playing checkers. This is a person with an ego. Pussy niggas putting money on my head. Go get your refund, motherfucker. I ain't dead is what I just heard. <laughs> This could be a karmic friend or something like that. That's in a cold one. What I say, material girl. This is a bunch of them. Now, now they're now fake friend, fake friend. Now, now they now somebody could be on dating sites. One of them, like, come on, I tell you, these 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 chicks sell ass for the devil. These chicks sell ass for the devil. These would be the friends that be sitting there not telling you, like, girl, we talk about everything. You ain't telling me you was a prostitute to the whole. Why you ain't telling me that? Why when you was telling my business over here? When you tried to slander me right here, where it says that under here, why you ain't tell them in between, in the meantime, in between time, while you was talking about me, why you ain't tell people that she was a prostitute or whore? It says it right here. You sell ass for the devil. You are involved with a crooked establishment and or organization. Like I said earlier, you in a COVID, you in a secret society. And people finding out about that. You're a thief. As well. And see, this is why you and this is why I say it. it's like you know all these things about this person, but now other people are finding it out. And the only reason why it's a big dun 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 is because this person made it seem like you were involved in all of this stuff. Now you could have ended that whole situation by speaking up for yourself and saying, like, oh nah, that person's a prostitutical whore. This person playing blood magic. They like to do this. They like to do that. They lying. Okay. We even know about certain people. Um, things that they like to do sexually that we that we could be screaming from the rooftops, but we did not, and we held our composure, and that's what made God look at us like, yeah, you know what? Uh, you my favorite. <laughs> that's why you my favorite. It's like it's like when. You know what they telling me? Like when um when you in school and your teacher ain't around and there's a substitute teacher, but you know for sure that you still being watched. It's like, girl, I could really do you something, okay? I can embarrass you. But look at this person. You think they get embarrassed easily? Look what they do. Look what they into. You know what I mean? I could I could respond. I could do this. I could do that. I could I could do all of these things. But guess guess I know who watching. I know who's watching and I know who's taking notes with this investigation energy here. I know who's watching and I know who's taking notes. So I'm about to sit here with my arms folded. Because you going to get in trouble when the teacher comes. Not me. <laughs> you you going to get in trouble. You don't care about your grades? Well, bitch, I do. You don't care about this going on your record, your spiritual record? Well, bitch, I do. I do. So this person is being found out and they being looked at for all the things that they wanted you found out and looked at for, okay? And it serves them right. That's just the way the cookie crumble. That's divine law. And I and you can't, and, 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 you know, I guess it wasn't in the witchcraft books that they was looking at, or I guess they didn't talk about that during the, uh, the, the, the B-L-O-O-D magic meetings. I guess they didn't have that conversation with them. I don't know. I don't know. I guess Stephen will teach that. Yeah, pride. This person was too prideful. They did too much. And they're being found out. Physical activity. Something that they did. Spiritual career. And happy ending. This is a person who ends things for others. Brings a death to either people or things. They take from others to thrive. And it's being found out. The nature, nature, individuality, and change. This is what I'm talking about. This is sacrificial magic. This person with the self love and personal growth. It's like th this person is going to be found out. I just heard philanthropic. This could be somebody that like to do favors for people, or on a larger scale that may donate to charities, or act like they're an upstanding citizen of the community, and they're not. They're not. They just said it's always somebody dead around this person. It's always somebody dead around them. Sick around them. 
Lose somebody around them that lost the ability to such and such. Or this is what they do. This is what they do to people in order to have personal growth. And when you find out that a philanthropist only loves themselves, what are you finding out at that point? You're, you're also finding out that they're a fraud. And that's what's going on here. They sent that energy out and so they're getting it back. I just heard you've been one. You've been one. Mm. And, 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 and I don't know why I'm hearing it. This is from... um. In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvest of abundance. Somebody's going to be found out. And I'm telling you, your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. This, this world, this could be your son. This could be your daughter. Your, your child could have something to do with this. This person could have did something to your, your child as a business venture. Okay, somebody could have been trying to do your child something. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. This could be somebody you work with or somebody who is trying to stifle your work or stifle your creativity in order for their work to, to, to pan out or pop off. Somebody could have been pulling from your sack who is what I'm hearing. Somebody talk to the, to the, to the, to the, um, excuse me as I kiss the sky. Somebody could be talking to themselves. But I'm, I'm, I'm getting that in a negative way, but I'm also getting it in a positive way where there's someone here who speaks to, I don't know, fairies, whatever. I don't know. Things that other people think ain't there. Things that they can see that other people don't see. So we have marriage. The fairies join you in celebrating wedded, wedded bliss. And then we have affirmations. To lift up your thoughts and energy and attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. So some of you guys might want to be calling in um, love to you because this person could have tried to ruin your relationship or whatever the case is this is a situation where this person's downfall is going to um bring you up okay and it is because they tried to put their foot on your neck they used you in order to to they used you as a footstool to get them higher Instead of just doing this shit on their own. So now they have to come down in order for you to come back up. I mean, that's just spiritual law. I hope that helps.